If you're looking to maximize your mixing workflow while cutting down on tedious tasks, Sonable offers the Smart Essentials Bundle, featuring Smart EQ, Smart Comp, and Smart Limit. In this video, we're gonna use these plugins to create an awesome sounding mix. Let's go. Everybody's talking at me I don't hear a word they're saying Only the echoes of my mind All right, cool. So the main thing that draws my attention here at the beginning is the acoustic guitar. Let's go ahead and solo that. So notice how every often the bass note of the guitar strum like sticks out too loud. Watch, listen. Especially right there. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna address that with Smart EQ. So for that, we'll instantiate Smart EQ. Okay, now we're not gonna get into the profile. We'll review that a little bit later, but I just wanna show that you can easily use this as an EQ plugin. Dynamic EQ plugin, that is. So when I hit play, you're gonna see a frequency spectrum here. And you notice that there's a jump of frequency right here around 2K. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to narrow the bandwidth and change it from static to dynamic. You can do that two ways. You can click here on dynamic, or you can also switch it here. Dynamic range, I'm gonna bring the range down to about minus five. Let's do a five to one ratio, five millisecond attack time and 50 millisecond release time, okay? And then here I can adjust the threshold, which is that little dial right there. Cool, and that just stops that. It, it stops that abrupt push of air there to the microphone. So. We can dial this back even more, which is a range. And the range is gonna show you the maximum cut in decibels. Whereas the threshold is gonna be the control of when you want that uh, dynamic EQ to kick in. A couple of other things to consider about this is that you can solo the bands. So if I hover like this, I can click on the solo button or click on that down here. Yeah, very powerful. Also notice how you have a minimum phase or linear phase. You can toggle between the two and some other features which we're not gonna get into. But that's the first thing that I want to address. I just wanna use Smart EQ4 as a dynamic EQ for that specific band. Okay, so let's solo the bass and play from where that kicks in. So the first two notes are a little hard to hear. And I think a big part of that is that there's a lot of low mid frequencies on the acoustic guitar and they're masking the bass notes. So how do we address that? Well, this is where we start to use the Smart EQ as a interlinking channels or as a way to remote control one instance of it to another. It's a type of technology that allows you to not just control uh, EQ instance of one plugin to another, but it also intertalks or intercommunicates. Let me show you how that works. All right, so we'll instantiate Smart EQ on the bass track. And we'll create a group. We'll call this low mids, click create, and click add instance. Under add instance, you're gonna find any free instances of Smart EQ used across your mix. In this case, we're only using it on the guitar, so that's the only thing that shows up here. And then here, you can adjust a hierarchy. So for example, I want the bass to be more dominant, so I'm gonna put the guitar in the middle section, okay? Next, I'm gonna analyze these notes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, on the bass guitar, choose a profile, select bass. On the acoustic guitar, choose a profile and choose acoustic and then I'm gonna hit Analyze. Okay, there they are. Now, if I click on each one of these uh, plugins, it's gonna show you them here. 
And this is a radical move here on the guitar. I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'll choose the impact to be zero. And then on the bass, I'm going to choose the impact to be zero. Now, one of the misconceptions about AI-powered tools like Sonable is that you have to use everything or that it automatically mixes it for you. That's not necessarily true, and nor do you want it to do that. You want to make mixing decisions based on what's appropriate for the song and for the genre. In this case, I'm trying to address a problem, and that is low-mid masking. And for that, Sonable is going to give me a starting point, but I still have to make that decision as a music mixer, as a musician, as a producer, as an artist, of how I want it to sound. But the tools are there, and it gives me a great starting point. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and increase the impact and reduce the width, because I really only want to focus around this area right here. And if I boost this up to where you see the white line, that's basically an EQ boost, or the white line down, that's an EQ cut, you're going to notice it like right away. It's super obvious. Watch. Right there, now the bass appears, it's unmasked. And then uh, just a, a quick shortcut, if you hold shift and you drag up and down, it's gonna lock it. You're not accidentally gonna move it around like that, okay? So very subtle cut here. Cool, let's go ahead and check that out with the track. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear a word they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. Cool. I like everything that I'm hearing. However, I want a little bit more grit out of that bass guitar. So for that, I'm going to use Smart Comp. Now, when you instantiate Smart Comp, you're going to notice that the bottom selection here is grayed out. You don't have access to it until you analyze the track. So I'm going to select Bass, Electric, hit Analyze. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear a word. Cool, there's my starting point. Let's go ahead and solo the bass guitar. And for character, I'm gonna play around with these parameters, which is gonna be clean, dirty, and color dark and light. Okay. Another thing is I'm gonna scale down the um, the dynamic range view or the, the visuals here so that I can actually see how much gain reduction it's applying. There it is, 2 dB. That's real nice right there. I like that. I like how it controls it, but it gives you tone. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear a word they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. There are other settings that you can play around with here under compression template. These are user-defined, user standard, squeeze mid, parallel comp. You can do all that. Although for this bass, I don't think it really needs much. It's already been processed. So I'll just use a low ratio, maybe two to one or 1 1.8, and then leave it as is. Let's go ahead and check out the vocals. So we got two vocal tracks. We have Josiah and we have Max from Will Dorado. Let's go ahead and check out Max. People stop and staring. I can't see the faces. Only the shadows of their eyes. Very nice, lovely performance. All right, I want to brighten this up. So let's use Smart EQ. All right, now instead of using the profile, again, I'm just going to listen to it and then make a decision on what I want it to sound like. People stop and staring. I can't see the faces. Cool, let's make it brighter. Just add a band. People stop and staring. I can't see the faces. Let's see what linear face sounds like. People stop and staring. I can't see the faces. Only the shadows of their eyes. I think minimum face is just fine. However, I am running into a new problem, which is when I boost the highs, I'm getting a little bit too much throw out of uh, his voice. So for that, I'm going to create another band somewhere around here hunt it down, and then use a dynamic EQ for that. So let's go ahead and solo this. People stop and staring. I can't see the faces. Yeah, around 3K, which is a dangerous area. So we'll switch this to dynamic, use a minus five 
dB range. Let's go with a high ratio, like 8 to 1. Attack, 5 milliseconds. Release, let's go with 25 milliseconds. And let's see if we can grab that frequency. People stopping, staring. I can't see the faces. Only in shadows of their eyes. Cool, there's another part where he sings uh, after the verse, which is towards the end. Let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. I'm going where the sun keeps shining. Man, that's good. I'm going where the sun keeps shining through the pouring rain. Go where, where the weather suits my clothes. I love that. Man, it's just like, it gives you that clarity on the top end, but it doesn't make it harsh. That's really cool. All right, I think that's all this needs to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and apply Smart Limit across the mix bus. So for that, I'm gonna put Smart Limit. Now what's cool about these plugins is that there's like a tutorial factor here. You can either go through Show Tutorial and it's gonna basically walk you through a tour of how to use the plugin. So if this is your first time using the plugin, maybe you download a trial or maybe you, you know, got a special deal on the bundle or online and you don't really know what to do with these plugins, and you know, you got this take the tour option, which is great, because it kind of shows you and gives you a walkthrough on what the definition is of the different parameters, how to use it, what the visuals mean, and everything else. Cool, all right. And let's go ahead and select the genre. Let's go to country, why not? This is called country covers, and we'll hit analyze. I do want to, want to warn you guys, I'm going to hit play, it's going to analyze, and it, there might be a volume jump, all right? So just be careful there. I'm going where the sun keeps shining through the pouring rain. Okay, cool. So look at that. It's a 10 dB boost. So what I'll do afterwards, for the sake of uh, YouTube and demonstration purposes, I'll, bring, I'll use the trim plugin and bring this down to about 10 dB. Let's just use 10 dB to round it off, okay. All right, so what happened? Well, uh, a couple of things. It set the ceiling to minus one, which I want it to be minus 0 0.7, cool. I'm not gonna touch the attack and release. I'm gonna let the smart engine handle that for me. And uh, let's listen to what this sounds like. I'm going where the sun keeps shining through the pole. When you click this quality check button, it tells you whether you're hitting the target or not. And in fact, this says, uh, try increasing the input gain to reduce dynamics. Now, I don't necessarily wanna do that. The tool is informing me and telling me, hey, you're not hitting the target. But I wanna find another way to hit the target without making the without shrinking the dynamic range because this type of uh, composition, this type of arrangement production doesn't warrant a very squash type of sound. I do want dynamics. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use a saturation module below to get a little bit more density out of the mix. I'm going where the sun keeps shining through the pouring rain. Go where, where the weather suits my clothes. Up. Okay, so we're closer to our target there. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Let's play with the balance. And this is gonna change the tonality of the mix. I'm going where the sun keeps shining through the pouring rain. Go where, where the weather suits my clothes. Banking off of the northeast winds, sailing on the summer breeze. Okay, so we're in the ballpark here. And then lastly, this will say, Hey, Spotify will turn down the track by 1.3 dB. So again, all these are guidelines for you to get the best possible mix, the best translation when it's placed on streaming services and not have big surprises. I've been in situations where the client has asked me to deliver a very loud mix or master, minus seven, minus six. And when it plays back on streaming services because of the normalization algorithm, it sounds like real quiet compared to other mixes. Hey, I'm just providing the service, but you know, at the end of the day, the artist decides how they want their music delivered. But having this kind of visual guideline on making those types of decisions is real useful because then it allows you and warns you like you're in the target or you're above the target or you're below the target. Cool. Now, a common thing to do also when you're mixing and you're delivering your masters for uh, music streaming services 
is to, yes, put a limiter to kind of get that target, but then go back into the mix and make tweaks because in me bringing up the low-level information of the mix to squeeze the dynamics and playing around with the saturation and balance and bass control, I'm changing the overall shape of the mix. So I want to go back to the top and make sure that there's nothing poking out, whether that's the guitar or the bass or any sibilance or anything like that, just to, to kind of do another like uh, QC, another quality control check of the mix before I export this out. So let's go ahead and play this from the top. Everybody's talking at me I don't hear a word they're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stopping, staring I can't see the faces Only the shadows of their eyes I'm gone where the sun keeps shining through the pouring rain Going where the weather To the my clothes Banking off of the northeast wind Sailing on summer breeze and Skipping over the ocean Like a stone All right, guys, so that's all the time that we have for this video. I really hope that you learned something on how to use these tools, these AI-powered tools by Sonable. My name is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. Thanks again for watching. If you want to download a trial version of these plugins, I invite you to visit sonable.com. Please find the link to the products in the video description below. As always, your thoughts and comments are always welcome. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Also, thank you Josiah and Will Dorado for allowing me to use this track for this demonstration. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace.